pay pitch and push or garden bowls, something like that, which would be about what their capabilities are. Pitch and put or garden bowls. You go and tell that to the likes of uh, that big hitter, Laura Davies, who's one of the finest golfers in the game. A total exception, Neil. And as you know, she's sponsored here by Eurostyle and Cork. I have every time for her, and I admire anybody of Laura Davies' capabilities, like Mary McKenna or anybody like that. But women out there wearing designer clothes, paint and powder on their faces and all they're looking for, truthfully, is men. Men? Yes. You know, in 99% of the clubs, guys are well got, and these women are only looking for their checkbooks, basically. And that is my honest opinion. Wait, 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 wait. Wouldn't the majority of these women be married women? Their husbands are probably members of the same course. Morals does not come into this need. Morals doesn't come into it? No. You mean that there are women looking for affairs, you're telling me? Absolutely good times. As I said, nearly living out of people's checkbooks. You know, lots of these guys in the clubs are on expenses and various different visa cars and stuff like that. They have no difficulty. Money is no problem. And women can see this. And as I said earlier, they're wearing designer clothes. They couldn't hit the ball, Neil, honestly. They're playing off 36 handicaps. They couldn't hit the ball from here to cross the road. <laughs> Dear me. Are you sexist or show Are you sexist. just winding me up here or no, what? I beg your pardon, I am not, you know, Neil. And if you look at it, golf, G-O-L-F, was originated in Scotland, and it stands for gentlemen only, ladies forbidden. You told me that before. Mind you, we were talking about, uh, I think it was rugby the last time around. And I enjoyed your company the day you came with us, uh, Neil. It was, it was everything I thought a golf club would be. Mind you, I was, a, or should I say, a rugby club would be. I, 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 I was amazed at the amount of people who were drinking pints, though. One would always have thought that it would have been gin and tonics well and, and short ones and whiskey you you got you saw the inside yourself Neil. now another thing as well Neil, is i'm objecting strongly to society outings Why? i'm really opposed to these society outings in our club in particular now now i can't speak for the club because i am not a member of any committee but when you drive into the club and you see these 88 and 89 cars inside the, the car park you know automatically that there's a golf society <laughs> having an outing <laughs> i resent that totally as well what? What do you mean, poor people? I, I, I think, you see, we, we have a, a club, and uh, when we went to university, we were always told only Pavan and Vulnus et in Archeo. <laughs> And a direct the translation of that to me, what? Neil, is I have no time for the common people, and I wish to keep my distance from same. I wish to keep my distance from same? Yes. <laughs> I, t I don't know about this. This is extraordinary. You, are you telling me that for... Uh, where do you play? Is it the island or Fulton well, think, or Douglas? It would be a club in East Cork. I wouldn't be at liberty to speak on behalf of the club because me. I'm not a member of But I intend to bring it up at the AGM and the chaps. But the, we were actually talking about this article. Funny enough, that you wrote that you read today that was written on the paper yesterday. We were talking about it in the club last night. And we have decided that certainly we're going to take action at the next AGM. Uh, what, against women or against people with 88, 89C motor cars? Or yeah. both? Well, we, we I mean, are you saying that only people with 90, what, 92 or 93C cars should be allowed in? Well, you see, in my line of business, I bring friends in from across the water and from various different parts of Europe. And it doesn't look too good when I drive into the, cl into the club and the car park is there with, let's say, cars that are just ready for the scrap, you know? And I, I resent that because it, it gives a bad impression to these visitors who are, I suppose one would say, rather affluent. Affluent. I thought that people like you went out with the flood, to be honest with me. No, and I, I, I'll tell you now about ladies playing golf. It's a very embarrassing situation. I, I, do you play a little yourself? I'm a shocking golfer. Right, well, shocking. I think the best banter of all is at the 19th meet. The pub? Yes. Yeah. And we're in there and we're having our crack and our fun. We're totally restrained and restricted in what we're saying and what we're doing when there are ladies inside present. Mm -hmm. So, like, what would you prefer to be talking about? One Women and sex and effing and blinding or what? But we, 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 we would have a little few jokes and we would like not to be inhibited by the fact that there are women there and we have to be looking over our shoulder and they have this habit of snooping around the place. I mean, in the rugby club now, for argument's sake, all the women do is make the tea and the sandwiches and they don't interfere with the running of the club, you know? I mean, these women are, as he stated there, they're, they're, they're basically trying to run the club. There are still some clubs, aren't there, that uh, don't allow women at all? I do believe. It's Port Marnock, for instance, I think. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure whether they do or not, but I know they were in the news. Well, uh, look, even Fitzwilliam dropped, dropped the, 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 the bar the on, on women. women yeah. And I, I resent that very highly. because that there's, a lot of women, there's a lot of women, Dave, would resent you. Perhaps there would be, me, but I'm entitled to my opinion. I've been a member of the club for over 30 years, and I really resent it. They used to have a ladies' day 
once a week. I can't name the day because it was midweek. Otherwise, I would be identified with my club. But I, I let them off on that day. And that's a big concession that we give them. And I, I'm all in favour of it, really, because it's one day that we used to all avoid the club. Would you not be in favour of equality, that whatever a man can do, a woman should be at least allowed to try and do it? But they're not capable. Why not? I point. mean, it's, it's, why not? It's only a golf club. But the, w women aren't built to, to play sport, Neil. They're, they're, they haven't that type of I, I, uh, finesse about them. I mean... Well, wait, wait, what about Sonia O'Sullivan? What about Laura Davies that I talk about? What about all the gymnasts, all the basketball players? There are exceptions, the Neil. There are exceptions to every rat. rule. But the general thing that I'm saying to you, these women are going down there, they're, they're talking about, oh, getting their hair done, they're talking about the clothes that are in Laura Ashley's or whatever. I mean, it's, it, it golf is the least of their worries, and they don't understand that we chaps take it seriously. We go out there, we pay our few pounds for a ball. But a woman is allowed to talk about the clothes that she buys as much as a man is allowed to talk about but uh, yes, the car that she he doesn't drives. have to stop in the middle of the fairway and, and hold a conversation about it, you know? Hold on there a second, I got a lot.